Hey everybody, this is Ray Ogilvie in Hartsville, South Carolina. Now I went to one of my favorite fossil localities yesterday, a sand pit over in Lynchburg, South Carolina. But the pit was so overgrown that I couldn't see anything. So I decided just to bag up a good bit of the dirt and bring it here to the house and screen it. And this is the first item I found. This is a Cretolamna shark tooth. It's an ancient poor beagle. Uh, and these sharks went extinct about 65 million years ago. Now the holes in this basket are probably about a half an inch wide. And then I've got a pretty fine screen underneath that to uh, maybe catch some of the really small stuff. Well, no shark teeth in this batch, but here's kind of a neat shell. This is called a kitten's paw, and you can see why. The shell is actually shaped like the foot of a cat. Now all of the shells at this site were left when the ocean was in this part of the state about three to five million years ago. So of course all the shells will be three to five million years old. But there are many objects mixed in with these shells that are much older. Okay, that was a pretty good scoop. Um, got another Cretolamna, this time a really nice one. And then almost right beside it, a pretty nice alligator tooth. Okay, these are always really nice to find. Hard to say the age on this alligator tooth. Um, these animals have been around for such a long time. And I really like this Cretolamna. They have some beautiful colors. Okay, there's another little kitten's paw, but look at this object laying right beside it. Okay, that's neat. That is an Encotus uh, fish tooth. Now, Encotus also went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous, about 65 million years ago. It's related to the modern-day salmon and looked a whole lot like it, except it had a mouthful of teeth like this. Not really something you'd want to find on the end of your line. Okay, this is my last scoop. Looks like we've got another Cretolamna. Now that's not as big and as not as in good a shape as what I found a little bit ago, but I still like finding these. Uh, and this is probably the most common shark tooth that I find at this particular site. And check this out. Can you tell what this is? This is a piece of turtle shell. And I can tell by these shallow pits across the top that this is from a soft shell turtle. Now this bony material came from the middle 
of the soft shell turtle's back. But along the edges of the soft shell turtle's back, this bony material is missing. The outer edge of the shell is mostly thick skin. And this makes the soft shell turtle shell flexible, which in turn enables the soft shell turtle to move a little faster than other turtles. Now it's hard to say the age of this turtle shell. Um, these turtles, like the crocodile, have been around for a long time and they're still living today. Okay, this is everything I've found today. Not too bad for one bag of dirt.